Hey guys, Doogie Hoyser MD here, back in Firelink Shrine. Um, I'm not going to start right off with the bonfire because I'm closer to the elevator this way, and we're going to head to the elevator to meet Andre to buy the Crest of Artorias. It's a handy little item that allows you to access a uh, hidden area of the game. There's also a more legitimate way to get to it. But we're just going to talk about the crest of our tourists right now and getting into it through uh, these means. If you can't afford the crest of our tourists, there's a little ladder. Um, the crest provides a shorter distance to get there, and I just find it in general to be better. So I buy it almost every playthrough. I think actually every playthrough I've ever done, I've bought it. And so we're going down, down, and we're going to use the bonfire real quick. Oh, there's somebody else in the Elite Knight armor. And since we may need it again, we'll repair a pyromancy claim. Just repair everything. We have more than enough souls to do all this. So repair everything that you're using. You don't have to deal with it later. And then go to purchase item from them, go to keys, and crest of our tourists is the one you want. So there we go. Get you. And now we'll head off to where we use it. Which is next to the bonfire near the Elite Knight armor. If you guys remember where that is, I'll just show you. You guys can just thumb ahead by about a minute. But some people might have forgotten, so I'll try to show you all. Okay. Got our enchants going. So they do more damage. Now we kill them in two hits instead of four, so... This is chance. Plus the weapon upgrades have effectively doubled their damage since earlier. And it was a lot cheaper than upgrading our dexterity or our, or our intelligence, so... It's a much cheaper means of achieving the same ends. And so you can focus on your survival stats first. And here we are. And I'll try to do this as quickly as possible, but they might have to be suicide runs because this area is packed full of enemies. So, first run, we're going to go for the medium set of armor that the Crest Wars area is hiding. So, back here. And you can kill these guys, they reward quite a few souls. There's also a trick to get them to jump off the cliff that I'm going to show you in my farming guides. I'm going to do a guide for each of the things that you may find that you need to farm at some point in time when playing the game. And one of the things, obviously, is going to be souls, so... This area will receive a large mention. And the Elite Knight Armor should be. Off to the side up here. I was up a cliff face. Or not the Elite Knight. This is the Eastern set, I believe. Is what it's called. So we're just going to. Oh, yes, we're just going to die. Let's just make it quick. Quick and painless. Well, for us, for a character, that was probably quite painful. And then I'll get you guys the heavy set. Uh, before we move on, I'll show you what the eastern set looks like. Eastern armor is somewhere in the medium to light armor range, uh, depending on the piece. 
the helm and the armor itself, the chest piece, seem to be more in the uh, medium range, whereas the other two pieces seem to be more in the light range, so it kind of averages out to a medium-ish armor set. Uh, I'm going heavy, just because it's probably better for you guys for your first playthrough to go with a heavier set of armor. So that's just what I'm going to be using in all the videos as well. Um, I, I recently did a playthrough where I tried to keep my encumbrance under 25 the whole time. It, it's probably somewhat challenging. You get something in return, which is the uh, ability to roll and dodge attacks fast very quickly. And since we don't have any souls, I'll just run off the cliff once I get this set as well. Since there's no real reason to stick around. And here we have the other set, the stone set. A very, very heavy set, but it gives you quite a lot of armor and poise. So here we go, off the cliff. That is what you will do with the Crest of Our is you will gather whichever one of those two sets you want to use, and you will equip whichever one you're going to use, and you'll have uh, an armor set that should last you into for quite a long period of the game. I don't have quite enough endurance yet to use the stone set, so I'm going to equip a piece or two from the Elite Knight set. So that... yeah, that's better so that I still get the medium roll. The medium roll is probably what you want to stay in, even if you're going with heavy armor. So thanks for watching, guys, and before you leave this area, we will be talking about the Hydra boss and how to get a better staff for your magic.